It's been a dream of mine for a long time to fully convert a van to live in. I've lived in cars in the past, a Honda Element, a minivan, and even a Prius, but I've never owned a full-size van. Whatever. It's so big. <laughs> I'll take it. I realize if I don't do this now, I might never get another chance to because someday I might have a family and more responsibilities that don't allow me to be so free. So I started researching, saving up money and looking at vans. It's beautiful. I want one. Ooh, it's comfortable. I feel so tall. I like it. We're taking it for a test drive. Yeah. It is? Mm-hmm. I'm scared. You have to start it first. Oh. And don't let anybody intimidate you. If you, you just go slow because you're not used to the length of this thing, okay? Remember, you have to take wide turns. My heart's beating fast because I'm scared. I've never driven a car this big. Don't beep at me. I test drove a new van, but I knew I didn't want to buy a brand new van because they're expensive and they lose value as soon as you drive them off the lot. Are you a vlogger? Do you vlog? Yeah. Cool. Do you have a YouTube channel? Mm -hmm. I'll subscribe to you. So then began the search for a used van. Finding one with low mileage, no damage, and within my price range was way harder than I anticipated. We started looking at vans in March and looked at probably a hundred vans before we finally found one on Craigslist in July. Today might be the day that we get a van. We're going to drive to see the van and it's like an hour and a half away from my house, so um, hopefully it's a good one. I'm nervous. I don't want to be disappointed again. We got to the van, and it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in my whole life. I think this is the one. They're checking out the engine, making sure everything works normally. Then I went to the bank and got my bank check. You get it, Steph? And paid the man. Awesome. And we were on our way. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, it was nice it was to meet you, everybody. Nice to business with you. Good luck with everything. And we headed home with the most glorious van the world has ever seen. <laughs> no, seriously. Isn't this van beautiful? Look at him. I've been waiting so long for this moment. The van is finally in my possession. Sorry, I'm annoying. We're gonna start converting it very soon. I'm gonna do it all myself with the help of my dad and his friend. But I've just kind of been planning out what I wanna do to it. I think the first step is we're gonna cut some holes for windows and an air vent in the ceiling. And then we're gonna insulate the whole thing and add wooden floors and walls and ceiling. And then we're gonna build the bed, which is gonna go like right here. The reason that I got a ProMaster instead of like a Ford Transit or a Sprinter van is because they're a lot wider so like you can fit a full-size bed across this way instead of going like this way so there will be a lot more space up here for like all the other stuff that I want to have. I'm also going to make like a sink and a little like pull-out desk thing with a seat so I can make art in the van probably like some sort of bathroom with like a shower and a toilet um, and then I want to have shelves up here that open for like my clothes and maybe a little bookshelf or something. I've been saving so many van life pictures to just like keep for inspiration and eventually I want to like paint the wood like the wooden walls in here I want to paint different designs on it because I think it would look cool like I'll paint like penguins and cool animals and stuff. I'm also going to have solar panels on the roof, which will power the fridge that I'm planning on getting, just like a 12 volt fridge, and then it'll power my electronics. But yeah, there's not much to see yet, 
but I'm going to be making a lot of videos showing the conversion. I'm going to make a video for like every step of it and show you the costs and exactly what I'm doing and the materials I'm using. So anybody that's thinking about doing this can have some sort of like guidance or inspiration. It's basically just going to be like a tiny home. I want it to be very like minimal and compact but like functional and also pretty. Um, that's all I have to say for now. Stay tuned to see the whole build. Hope you're having a great day. Okay, bye.